The Dwarven King's heart is soft, but his axe is sharp. And his adopted daughter, Catibri, a deadly archer destined to be a leader. They will resist. The newly crowned king of the Reghead Barbarians. Wolfgar, son of Beornagar. If he can master his rage, he will be dangerous. Drizzed to Worden, the drow outcast. Few can match his deadly speed. He could be the key to everything. They care for each other. Something to be exploited, perhaps. But their bond is strong. Regardless, they fail to secure the shard from that fool, Kessel. It's out there, exposed for the taking. And now, it will be mine. Crystal Shard, forged from the magic of seven liches, but with a treacherous will of its own. For thousands of years, the Shard lay forgotten beneath the snows of Icewind Dale. There it waited, until some fool, a would-be wizard lusting for power beyond his due, answered the Shard's call. A car Kessel claimed the shard and used its power to summon armies of evil creatures to his banner. From his crystal tower, he set them loose upon the Dale and the people of Ten Towns. But we would not stand by and watch this tyrant destroy our homes. We companions rallied the united peoples of Ten Towns and held our ground at the walls of Bryn Shanda. chased Kessel to the slopes of Kelvin's cave. When the Shard realized that we had won, it abandoned him. It disappeared once again under the snows, along with Kessel himself. With Kessel gone, we thought the war was over. We were wrong. Though the Crystal Shard was lost, still it called to those who craved power. Its call was strong. And from across the realms they came. But we answered a call of our own. A call to stand together against this dark alliance. And defend our home against the threat of Kred Shinnabon. Wolfgar! Even bigger in person. Kartik Stoneroller here, your friend Regis told me you'd be by. Regis sent you? Where is that laser bomb? We need him on the battlefield. Oh, really? Regis said the war was over. But he also said that I should stay here and make sure you're supplied with anything you might need. For a fair price, of course. The United Peoples of Icewind Dale had defeated Kessel's armies and destroyed his crystal tower. But the dwarven warriors of Clan Battlehammer returned home to find their halls overrun. Their people fleeing the valley. We rush to their aid, fighting our way through the goblins in Verbeeg to find the goblin commander and put an end to this siege. The dwarves are gone! These are our lands now! Turn down their statue! Tear it down! Tear it down! Whoa! Open! Stop! 
goblins in the Dwarven Valley, and Durgar in the Dwarven Halls. It seems Tempest has not yet had his fill of battle. And I am just beginning. I'll break this siege and pile goblin and verbeeg skulls as a warning to any who would threaten the battlehammer dwarves. Father the Shark. Involved? We're just trying. Verbeeg! Come feast on me! Can't wait to make up some reggae stew! Now, come here, you! Invading the Dwarven Valley will soon meet their match by way of my hammer. For the Elks made! putting an end to this menace. There's no choice but to destroy it. Keep him on the side! 
Bangor's home was a ruin. And the destruction of Bangor's span, the bridge named for his father, its loss was a heavy burden. The dwarves had to abandon their life, chased from their homes by the goblin and verbeek remnants of Kessel's orders. These threats and worse had answered the call of Krench Shinnabon. And we were the only thing that stood between these creatures the Shard, and the utter destruction of our home. I need that! I'm on break! Catboy! More plane! Right here! Where are you going with that? Put that over there! Catboy! Move your shaka! Move your own shaka, Bopa Shuck! Hey! Get that watch out of fright! I said, there! Not here! There! Ah, come on, Tommy! Not that! Not that! Not there! There! Butter knock! Now, Bubba! All right! All right! Out of the way, Grub! Move! Yeah. Oh, boy! This is heavy! You're in my way, Bubba Sugar! Don't just stand there! Move it! Move it! It's not my fault, this Meat's dropping from the sky, boys! <laughs> Gob kebab. Still bloody. <laughs> That's lunch! Get to work, Cataract! I'll clear every goblin abomination from this valley and send them running for their holes. Totems power the goblin's magical shield. Yeah. <laughs> 
dwarf I did! Look at the size of him! That ain't no dwarf, dimwitch! Sure it is! Ain't it? Ah, throw him back! Bottom feeders! Bottom feeders? Yeah. Tastes like gravel shit! We can't eat that! Ah, oh, no, those gray ones make me shit my pot! <laughs> I'll make quick work of these creatures and reclaim the Dwarven Forge. For me! Come feast on me! Only one master of the shard. Hey! <laughs> I died, and it was their fault. I can still hear it calling, taunting. And here they are again. A chance for me to prove my worth. Submit to my rule, and I 
to reclaim what is mine! should not have put faith in this puny shaman. I did not see your axe break down the door to this tomb. And you think Kelvin will reward you for relying on this fool's magic? I do not come begging for a reward. I come to claim it. So silence your doubts. Kelvin the Great. Mighty Jarl, Keeper of the Horn and Slayer of the Doomful, the last true king of the Odin. I'm acting Mok. Gorm. Gorm. Helvig, the Lordgrill. Our enemies approach. Enough of your magic. No! Oh, the seals contain the spirit of Kelvin. They must be at war for us. Your blood will grease the rock!
delve so deeply into my affairs. For any creature with half a brain would quickly comprehend their peril and do the only thing that makes sense. Barbarian, it's not enough that I can easily charge your fall from the sight alone. Is your primitive ready in mind able to manifest the emotion of an embarrassment? and I will finally have our vengeance. Where are your murderous friends? One of those ballistas should bring her down. Yeah. <laughs> 
And that is how it ended. We had bled for the Dale. Struck fear into the hearts of those who sought Crench Shinnabon and broken its dark alliance. There were none left brave enough to answer the call, knowing who they would have to face to claim it. We four companions. I look back on those days and remember how the bonds of friendship were forged through battle. The strength of our companionship had silenced the Shard and shown us that together, we could overcome anything.